Hi friends, Miss Deacon here for writing. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, which is a special day for two reasons. Number one, it's April Fool's Day. Number two, it is my birthday. So in the past two days, we've learned about capitalization and punctuation, and we also learned about adjectives, nouns, and verbs. Today, we're gonna work on writing complete sentences. So turning our thoughts into full sentences that are high quality, that make our writing really, really great. So all the things we're learning this week are gonna help us be incredible second grade writers so that after spring break, we can start on our special writing project together, okay? So again, today we're focusing on writing complete sentences. So here we go. Today you need a piece of paper and a pencil. If you have a notebook, that's fine, or just a piece of scrap paper. You need your computer or your tablet, which you are obviously already on if you're watching this. And you need your brain ready to go and ready to learn. So let's get started. Our target for the day, friends, is I can identify what is needed for a thought to be a complete sentence. Okay, so we're gonna talk and we're gonna learn about what elements we need in our sentences to make sure that they are complete sentences and that they're not just little bits of words stuck together. Friends, I'm so sorry if you can hear Frank, my puppy in the background. He really wants my attention, but I told him it was writing time. Frank, it's writing time, buddy. Okay, here are some words that you need to know today that we're gonna talk about. Subject, predicate, sentence and fragment. So all four of these words we're gonna go through and we're gonna talk about what they mean and why they're important to our sentences. So they are again, subject, predicate, sentence, and fragment, okay? Same with me, ready one more time. Subject, predicate, sentence, fragment. All right, so what does a complete sentence need? It needs to have a subject and a predicate, okay? A subject and a predicate. And then inside that predicate is gonna be a verb. Now I know and you know that yesterday we learned that a verb is an action word. It's something that you can do. So if a sentence does not have all of these parts, it is called a fragment. So a sentence has a subject and a predicate with a verb, okay? Say this with me. A sentence has a subject and a predicate with a verb. Now in your head, you might be thinking, Miss Deacon, what is a predicate? And I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna get there in just a second. But first we need to differentiate or tell the difference between a sentence and a fragment. Let me move my face down here so you can see a little better. So a sentence has all those parts that we talked about, but a fragment is an incomplete sentence. It's missing either the subject or the predicate, okay? It's missing one of those really important parts that makes it a high quality, complete thought from beginning to end, okay? So we have sentences, we have fragments. Sentences have all the parts that they need, fragments don't. In second grade, we don't write in fragments. All right, again, to remind you, a complete sentence has these things, a subject, a predicate, and a verb. The verb is inside of the predicate. And if it doesn't have all these parts, it's called a fragment. All right, the subject. The subject is the person, the place, the thing, or the idea that is doing or being something in the sentence. So the subject is which part of speech? Is it a noun, an adjective, or a verb? It's a noun, because remember, a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So the subject is the noun in the sentence. It's who or what the sentence is going to be about. So here are some examples of a subject that you could write in your complete sentences. The dog, Frank, she, a singer, the apple, or my shoes. So look, it can be an object, it can be a person, it can be an animal, it can be an idea, but it has to be a noun that's gonna tell whoever's reading your sentence what it's about to tell them, what it's gonna be about, what they're gonna learn, or what you're trying to talk about, okay? So a subject is the noun, the who, or the what in the sentence. A predicate, now this is probably a new word for some of you, and that's okay, so say the word with me. Predicate, you say it. Did you say it? I bet you did, okay. A predicate is the words or group of words that tell what the subject is doing or being in the sentence. So this is the part that's gonna have a verb. 
it has to have a doing word, something that the object or the person or the animal is doing or being. Here are some examples. Looks yummy. So if I was talking about a piece of cake as my subject, I could say that it looks yummy. The verb is looks, right? That's the predicate. So that is a predicate. Another one, ate lunch. That tells what somebody did. They ate lunch. It has a verb in it. What's the verb in that sentence? It's ate. You're right. So ate is the verb. Another predicate is is funny. If you're talking about a person, you can say that Miss Deacon is funny. It's April Fool's Day. After all, I was born on April Fool's Day. So I'm funny, right? Another predicate, ran to the store. So Miss Deacon ran to the store. Miss D. Chalet ran to the store to get some lunch. Okay, so you're telling what that person did. This is a predicate because it has a verb and it tells you what's happening in the sentence. Another one, is talented or got mud on them. So if I was talking about my shoes, I could say my shoes, that's my subject. My predicate would be got mud on them. It tells what happened to my shoes. Okay, we're gonna play a little game here. We're gonna play a game called sentence or fragment. So I want you to get out your piece of paper and I want you to write down the word sentence or fragment when I, when I read you this thought, okay? So you're gonna either write the word sentence or you're gonna write the word fragment. Remember, if it's a sentence, it has a subject, a predicate, and that predicate has a verb or a doing word. If it doesn't have one of those pieces, it's a fragment, okay? So you're going to write on your paper the word sentence or the word fragment. You pick whichever one you think it is. Here's number one. Miss Hartzell ate her lunch. Is that a sentence or a fragment? Pause the video and write down what you think. Sentence, fragment, both of those words are spelled on the top for you, so you can write them down correctly. Okay, pause me now. Okay, friends, if you wrote sentence, you are correct, because look, there's a subject. The subject is Miss Hartzell. She's the who in this sentence. And it has a predicate, ate her lunch. There's a verb, the verb is ate, and it tells you what Miss Hartzell did. Miss Hartzell is the subject, ate her lunch is the predicate. So this is a complete thought. This is a sentence, it checks out, we can put it in our writing as high quality second grade scholars, okay? Ready for the next one? Super funny. So remember, you're gonna write on your paper, sentence or fragment. You pick one and write it down. Okay, pause me now. Did you pause it? Did you really pause it? Okay. Super funny is a fragment. There is no subject and there is no verb. Super is not a doing word. It's not an action. Funny is an adjective. That's not a doing word or a verb. There's no noun to tell you who or what you're talking about. So if I just said, if I walked up to you and said, super funny, you'd be like, Miss Deacon, who are you talking about? Who's super funny? What is super funny? Did you hear a joke? you would be really confused. So that is a fragment. If you wrote fragment, good job. All right, next. The dog is really cute. Write down if you think that's a sentence or a fragment. Oh, wait. Okay, what do you think? The dog is really cute. If you wrote sentence, you are correct. Why do you think this is a full sentence? Because it has a subject, the subject is the dog, that's the what are we talking about, and it has a predicate, is really cute. The dog is really cute. This is kind of a tricky one. What is the verb in that sentence? Pause and write down what the verb is in that sentence. What's the doing word or the action word? Okay, the verb is is, so the dog is really cute. It's there and it is cute. So this is a complete sentence. All right, last one. Here we go. Ate lunch. Write down sentence or write down fragment. What do you think? Okay. If you chose fragment, you are correct. So this doesn't have a subject. It has a predicate and a verb. Ate is a verb. But who are you talking about? If you came up to me and you said, ate lunch, I would say to you, huh? Who ate lunch? Did you eat lunch? 
did I eat lunch? Did your dog eat his lunch? Who ate lunch? And you would have to finish that sentence. You could say, Frank ate lunch, or you could say, Miss B ate lunch. So you have to turn the fragments into a complete sentence by adding a subject, okay? So friends, here is your job for now. Your job is going to be to go into Google Classroom and complete the assignment under Writing with Miss Deacon for today. Remember, today is Wednesday, April 1st, my birthday. And when you are done, I want you to come back to the, oh wait, you can't comment on YouTube. Ignore that part, okay? When you are done, comment done on your Google Classroom assignment, okay? So where you clicked on the link, click on there and comment done, okay? I want you to remember that you can pause the video and you can rewatch it as many times as you need to. So if this was confusing for you, if you're still thinking to yourself, what is a predicate? Then watch that part again. If you still don't know what a fragment is, go back and look at what I said it was, okay? This video is not going anywhere. You have all the time you need to figure out what all these words mean. Now, I want you to remember that we need to know how to write complete sentences to write high quality writing next week when we start our writing, okay? So all of these things, even though they might feel a little silly to you or you might think to yourself, Miss Deacon, I already know this, I get it, but I wanna make sure that we all can do this all the time so that we have really high quality second grade writing, okay? Friends, I love you so much and I can't wait to see how you do on this task. I will see you again tomorrow. Love you lots, bye.